What's up everyone, I'm Rick Knight. Welcome back to another video here at The Bad Philosopher. So as many of us know, you have this Honduras caravan uh, on the way coming from Honduras uh, to the Mexican-US border. They already went through Guatemala and recently broke through the Mexican and Guatemala border. They are planning on getting through Mexico and uh, entering the US. Now, uh, Trump has issued warnings to the, some of the countries involved saying if you don't do anything about it, we're gonna cut funding to you. Um, I think this is all in good time and being that the midterm elections is right around the corner. I think this is a tactic of the left. I think that there is uh, most likely some organization that was going on in Honduras to help encourage this type of behavior, to, to get people to stand up and, and to take this, this journey from, from their home all the way to the U.S. Uh, in the Wall Street Journal and a few other articles I read today, they were talking about George Soros being involved and NGOs, uh, non-government organizations, and uh, funding money and helping to organize stuff like this to, uh, to get something like this to, to occur. Um, it's very, very possible. I don't speak as an absolute because I just don't know. I'm not, gonna, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, so I don't like to uh, uh, put all my eggs in one basket. This is just one of the many uh, ideas floating around. Uh, now, here is an issue that I see with this whole situation. Not only do they plan on breaching the country and violating our laws, it is a misdemeanor to break into the country. Pretty much that's what they're doing. Uh, they'll be arrested and, uh, um, and deported uh, because you have to enter the country. Any country in the world, you have to enter the country legally with permission. If I want to go to Honduras, I have to have permission from, uh, from their government to, to go to their country. I can't just sneak in. It's, it's illegal. It's against the law, and that's just how it is. They already broke the law by... Uh, um, uh, uh, making their way into Guatemala, and then they broke the law making their way into Mexico, and now they're gonna plan on doing the same thing once they get to the Mexico-US border. Uh, my prediction in all this is, is, is this. If they make it to the US border, they're gonna attempt to come into the country, we're gonna attempt to stop them. We're gonna have border agencies there, other federal agents, uh, Trump has said he's gonna have the National Guard there. Um, you're gonna have a mix, a uh, 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 bag of reaction from the people. So some of the men, that are trying to sneak in. Judging by all the pictures and videos I saw, it is all grown adult men. I didn't see any women or any children. These are adult fighting age men that are making their way in. Uh, some of them are gonna comply and they're gonna get arrested and sent back. Some are gonna run away and try to escape, maybe run back home, or they're gonna run, try to run into the country. Uh, some of them are gonna put up a struggle. So you're gonna get a mixed bag of reactions from them. You're also gonna have a mixed bag of reaction on the other side from the Border Patrol and from the National Guard. Some of them are gonna um, be a little passive, some of them might be a little aggressive, uh, some might be right in the middle, and they might do their job according to their training, it's gonna be a little all over the place. Either way, you're gonna have a, a chaotic sis, uh, a situation going on at the border while arrests are trying to be made. Um, this is the perfect uh, uh, um, recipe for a disaster. It is the perfect recipe for, for, for real danger. Someone might get hurt, someone might get killed, they might be deadly force used, um, you know, uh, people might be injured. And this will be the perfect opportunity for the left to say, look how you treated these people. They'll be there with their cameras to take pictures and film. Of course, they'll do all the editing. They'll ignore the parts where some of the Border Patrol and the National Guard are actually doing their job according to their training and according to you know, protocol. They're only gonna look at the situations where an individual you know, appears to be assaulted or if they had to roughly take them down or maybe shoot them with rubber bullets or something. And this is what they're gonna put on the front page. This is the perfect opportunity for them to cry racism and say that we're only doing this to those people because they're brown people and it's, it's racist and that America and our agencies are, are violent and this is, you know, a form of police brutality and, you know, this is exactly what they're going to do. So that is my prediction that when there is a conflict at that Mexico-U.S. border, um, some level of force is going to be needed in order to prevent them from coming into the country because they are breaking the law and that force uh, might in some cases be you know, more force than others. Some cases it might be deadly force. Some cases they might, the, uh, the Border Patrol and the National Guard might have to use uh, uh, a little more force uh, uh, than usual in order to, you know, uh, um, restrain someone and, and make the arrest. And this will be perfect for the Democrats to claim that we are violent, that the Border Patrol and, and, and the National Guard are under Trump is, uh, you know, they were ordered to kill, you know, kill on sight. And this is the words that they're going to use. It is convenient that we have this caravan coming right before the November 7th election. Um, I think this is definitely a tool that's going to be used by the Democrats. Whether they set this up or not, uh, it is definitely a tool that they're going to use uh, um, in their journey to try to win the midterms. So 
Uh, just sit back and watch. I, I can't wait to see this all unfold. I hope I'm wrong, actually, but uh, it doesn't appear that, that, that I will be because, I mean, just human nature. You know, if you are on one side of the aisle and you have a situation like this, it's the, the perfect situation for you to use it as a tool, as a weapon against your opposition. And that's exactly what they're going to do. And that's what makes me think that this whole Honduras caravan has been orchestra orchestrated by by the left and by some left-leaning organizations to, to help further destabilize this situation. Um, again, you know, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm, I'm not going to say that, that I'm, you know, for sure that, that, that there's government agencies involved in the Honduras caravan or that there's, you know, George Soros did it or, or the Clintons are behind it. You know, I'm never one to call that out without, without evidence, but um, it, it's definitely very, very, very possible. And a lot of people are thinking that. I don't like to just go off of, you know, the popular, you know, idea of the day. Uh, but the Wall Street Journal did uh, report something similar to that. And there was a few other um, uh, uh, newspaper articles that I read that also said something very similar, that there is high level of corruption invo involved in this whole uh, uh, caravan coming from Honduras. So, all right, that's just my opinion. I just wanted to get out there, get it out there before all of this unfolds. Uh, again, hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully no one is hurt. Hopefully no one gets killed. Hopefully no one gets to sneak into the country illegally. And hopefully we all this all ends in it with a, a, a peaceful uh, uh, in, in a peaceful way. So like, comment, share, hit the like button, hit the bell, and uh, let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video.